That's the 19th of June, 2023. Now, a quick story. <coughs> to do with football. I was, um, I worked in football for some years. Not playing football. <coughs> anyway. We lived uh, um, in Spain. Now I've been living in Spain for about 10 years. And we started off in Santiago. Um, we did the St. James's Walk. We were going to do over a thousand kilometres, a thousand miles. But um, I wanted to go back from Bilbao, back to the French border, and start from there. But in Bilbao, I ended up uh, hurting my knees. So I went to hospital and the doctor laughed. He said, you can't go walking anywhere for two weeks. So I was looked after by my lady friend uh, for two weeks. And then we got a coach, a very uncomfortable coach drive. It took about eight, nine, ten hours really uncomfortable to go a bit nearer to Santiago, like very close, about 60 kilometres, 60 miles. We started there, we did a walk, a lovely walk. Enjoyed all of it, where we stayed, it was really good. My lady or something like that, we looked at the house, we thought, what, well, Ben and I have a detached house over there. We didn't buy it though, so we looked at another house near in Santiago, but a bit close to an abattoir. And the French boat was sending, it was rather weird. And we didn't buy that. Lots of experience in looking at the houses in Spain as well and, and walk. Lots of things I'll talk to you about another time. But anyway, we landed up going to a place, um, we caught bus to a place called Marine and we got off the bus with our suitcases. No idea where we are going. I said, well, there's a butcher shop across the road. We go there and ask them if there's no anywhere to stay. The lady in the butcher shop actually had a four or five bedroom terrace house, fully furnished, available. So we went to see it, moved in that, that same day. Uh, nice place, cheap. And we've got brand new, big television put in there for us as well. It's good. Centre of town as well, close to all the restaurants and cafes and ch church. Don't let me go to church anyway. <coughs> but it's all there. And we had a good bicycle rides. I think we used to hire a lot of hire. We either bought some bikes over there or we hired, hired some, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we stayed there some time. It was a Navy Cadet town. And then we like going to a place called Merendero, which is on the way to Loira, a small village outside Marine. And we just go past the eucalyptus trees. A lot of fun. A lot of fun at the Merendero Cafe overlooking the sea. Uh, the two owners, or the waiter, and on the lolly and brolly. Nice people. Anyway, we then moved to a nice place. Um, I can't remember the lady's name, but a nice lady and her husband and family. They built a big house uh, in the grounds, and so they had the, the, their first small house available to rent. We rented it for a few months. But, you know, at a barbecue area outside, at our own private garden, we had a place for bicycles, a place for a car. I think we had a car. Not sure. And uh, it was good. The, 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 the owners just give us uh, free bottles of wine, homemade wine free, um, on, uh, on the grounds, uh, fresh honey. Uh, fresh eggs and uh, lots of cakes you can make for us. It was really, really nice. We went up with them a few times as well. There's some good times with them. And we started going to one of the local cafes further up into the village, a bit further into the countryside, down a dark lane with no real street lighting and only enough cars to go a single, a single file uh, road. It wasn't a fancy restaurant, an ordinary restaurant. But while we were living in Marine, we got to know the local football club president because he was selling his house. And he thought I might have known people in England that would like to buy his two million pound house. So we got to know him. And one evening we were in there, and there was about 30 people there, about 15 couples or so. So this uh, president man of the local football club introduced us to all these people. And the last one I think I spoke to was the manager of the football club. And I asked him, I said, what's the name of your football club? Because they had told me that. So he told me, and I said, seriously, I said... Um, I've never heard of you. No comprende. Never heard of you. The name of the football club was Atletico Madrid. Has any, have, have you heard of it? Well, i heard about it since, but at that time I didn't know. I'd heard of Real Madrid, but not Atletico Madrid, which is quite strange, seeing as I worked in football for quite a few years. Bye.